What is up, my dudes? Daily Productions here with a super exciting episode of Minecraft. Uh, <laughs> I've been playing way too much. Oh my god, I got so addicted last night and played for like five hours into like two in the morning. Oh god. I haven't had a serious gamer moment like that for a long time, but uh, yeah, so you remember last episode I showed you guys the mob spawner over here. You can't really see it, but it's like, uh, it's like right there. You can see the edge of it, kind of. Um, well, I dug that out, and I followed a tutorial on YouTube on how to make it into an XP farm. Um, so I'll show you how it works, but uh, as you can see, zombies are, are falling into here. Beware. Dead dudes darting down. Um, and you just kind of take swipes at them, and you get just loads of XP. Um, you sometimes get some fun rando drops like potatoes and helmets and stuff. Hey, don't hit me. Um, yeah, it, it's pretty cool, man. Um, I got a lot of rotten fr flesh that, yeah, look, almost five stacks of rotten flesh. I don't, I don't know what to do with all that rotten flesh, but I mean, whatever. Uh, it's awesome. Look, I have 40 levels. That's insane. This thing is an absolute beast. I spent so many hours working on it. And this place looks absolutely disgusting. I've just been using cobble because I didn't want to smelt actual stone. So, it's pretty gross in here. Here's the maintenance entrance. Just dig in here. Very nice. Oh, we'll wait for that horde to go down. Actually, let's eat just in case. Because <laughs> I want to I wanna take you through here. Okay. So, essentially, mobs spawn there. You put the little blocks above the spawner so they don't spawn on top of it. Then they drop into this water, and they slowly get taken this way. Go, go. Um, and then, oh, cobblestone. This is 21 high, and there's soul stone right here, so it jets you up real fast. Skadoosh. And then you sort of cruise along this way until you get to a 21 drop here. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't think this through. Uh, can we just break out here, maybe? Yeah. I think that's the plan. No, don't follow me. Okay. <laughs> so here's the exterior here. It's so close to the surface that I had to build it up like this, and it looks like a gross donut. Um, so yeah. Then, obviously, they drop down, which, um, if there's only one in there, it depletes their health so that you only have to hit them with one stone sword swipe. But if there's a bunch, they actually cushion each other's fall, I think, a little bit. So you sometimes do have to do a couple of swipes, usually like three. Yeah, three. Um, and you just sort of kill them. And it's awesome. Seriously. This thing's dope. I've gotten 40 levels in like no time. And a whole whole lot of rotten flesh. So that's that right here. I'm super proud of this. Um, even though I followed the tutorial, you know, it's not my own design. But I still think it's kind of epic. And I, I really enjoyed making it. Um, and then over here, I'm working on the skeleton one right now, so there's certain dimensions you have to do. You have to do four wide walls, three high ceiling, and then four down. And then I gotta build that whole thing again, but I think the skeleton one will actually be better than the zombie one, because arrows and bones are way more helpful than rotten flesh, but uh, I decided to start with the zombie one in case I messed anything up and broke that somehow. Um, you know, I just wanted to be very careful and not use the super valuable spawner quite yet um i also wanted to maybe make it an afk farm just so we get arrows and um bows and bones just you know while we're afk or whatever i don't know though because the xp is kind of nice too and i'm not sure how to make an afk farm but i might do some more research i'm really digging this whole farm thing uh for items i might start doing that more um you know, getting more items that way, because it could be really cool. Um, so yeah, I was thinking about maybe covering this up, you know, terraforming it or something like that. Did that tree just grow while we were looking at it? Crazy! Because um, right now it's kind of this ugly blob. I'm not really too worried about it right now. Um, I also want to, like, fix up this cave. Maybe this can be part of the bat cave, you know, it extends over this way somehow. Oh, whoops, broke my torch. That could be kind of cool. I'm not fully sure yet what we want to do. As always, leave your comments, I'd love to hear them. Oh, I started a little sheep farm over here. Actually, we can uh, feed them real quick. Go into our uh, large agricultural area here. Oh, uh, this is so satisfying. One of the best things ever is just harvesting your farm in Minecraft. I don't know what it is about it, but 
I've always loved this. Just getting so many items after waiting patiently for them to grow. Oh, it's so nice. I love it. I actually got like a, a full inventory here. Um, yeah, so what I've been doing is I've been doing... This row is all wheat. Because um, I think wheat's the best. In my opinion, kind of. Because it... I don't know. Maybe potatoes are, are good too. I'm not sure what I actually think is best. Um, oh, those are... Those are baked. Because baked potatoes heal a good amount, and you get a lot from the farm, but you also have to smelt them. While wheat, you get bread, but at the same time, you don't get a ton of bread from a lot of wheat. But you can also, like, you know, get uh, shepes and stuff like that from the wheat that you get, so that's good, too. I'm not fully sold on any of them quite yet. I'm not sure which is best. That's why I got this diverse farm going where we can do... You know, whatever we want. Uh, beetroot's also kind of nice. Not really. Actually, beets kind of suck. I think they're just good for pig farming, right? Which we don't have one of those yet, so. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what do we ditch here? First of all, that's not... Yeah, we'll just ditch that, I guess. Okay. Oh, no, I accidentally jumped on this. Ah, oh, god dang it. It's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll just leave that one unhoed for the time being. Poisonous potato. Okay. So that's all good. Now we can feed our shepes over here. And, uh... Get two more sheep. I want this whole pen filled up. Very nice. Good job, guys. Give me that one little XP. Yeah, very nice. Okay, cool. So those guys are all set over there. Then we can also go over here and feed our chickens, which you'll be able to see they have seriously increased in number over here. I, um, I've been breeding them a ton and getting their eggs, stuff like that. So, I mean, with these guys plus the skeleton farm that we're going to make, we're going to have a lot of materials to make arrows. It's gonna be kinda nutty. Also, cooked chicken's really good too, so I'm excited about that. Alright, just keep on spamming, I guess. I don't know. Keep her going. We might actually get a level of XP from this. Uh, anyone else? Anyone else? There you go. Alright, let's also do these eggs here. <laughs> There's so many eggs, it just auto refills them. That's crazy. Yes. All of the eggs. How you doing, Flipper? Uh-oh, they're spawning outside. There's no bueno. Okay, cool. Flipper's upset. He doesn't like sharing a coop with the chickens. Alright. Maybe we need to move him at some point. Alright. Let's go see Francis. Oh, we can give him a beat. Want to treat Francis? Bruh! Why are you hanging out with this dude? Bruh! <laughs> I was gonna say, if we die in our own house, I'm gonna be pissed. That's actually pretty good, because he gave us an ender pearl. Oh god, it makes that creepy noise when it dies. Ugh! Alright, put this armor in here. Uh, then, uh, food area over here. Excelente! Carrots. A bit root. Venice. Uh, let me put this scrap over here. Um, yeah, we're looking good, man. I am very proud of this uh, this world we've built. Um, it's kind of sick. Oh, by the way, check this out. 31 diamonds. Yeah, so um, if we hop back in the mine, gotta pick X women. Okay, I'll stop. Um, <laughs> I've actually gone through two more diamond pickaxes since last episode. Um, but it was worth it, because we got a lot of materials at it and built those, uh, mob spawners and stuff. But, if we go all the way down here, um, I don't know why I'm going all the way down here. I could have just told you, but might as well show it. I started a strip mine at, uh, level 12. Maybe it's level 11. Oh, no. It's up here? Where's the strip mine? Right here. Yeah. So, right here, I actually found diamonds, which was sick. Um... And I started moving this way, and then I found this lava pit, and I kind of explored, 
And this turns into a huge cave over that way, like huge. Um, and I found a bunch of diamonds over here. So, super glad I dug just a little bit further down into this mine and actually like acquired some stuff. So that was kind of cool. So, what I think we should do now, because this has just sort of been show and tell episode at the moment, but I think I, uh, I should go ahead and finally build those bookshelves for the enchanting table. I've given up on, you know, trying to steal bookshelves from a village because that's just... I don't know. I don't want to go find a village. Last time we did that, we died a bunch, and that was annoying. Almost lost our boy Flipper. That would have been so sad. Um, so we need that. We need sugar cane. That's another thing. So we need sugar cane. Um, no! Oh, I thought I had him. Thought I had him. Wow, he destroyed a lot of grass. <laughs> Bruh. Why you do this to me, creeper? I saw on Reddit someone did a thing where um, every creeper hole, they filled it in with cobblestone instead of grass. Um, and then with their Elytra in the end game, when they were sort of done with the world, they um, flew overhead and they could see every creeper hole. I thought that was really, really cool. Um, okay, so uh, we got sugarcane over here. We could try and make a little sugarcane farm. That could be kind of fun, like a automatic one. I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging the automatic farm thing as of late. So, yeah. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and give that a try. Maybe we could build it right here. Um, all right, so. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get redstone stuff and figure out how to do this. All right, guys. I followed a tutorial. And so, yes. Okay, it's working. Okay, I think that means it's working. So, if we do this. Uh, it does work. Okay, that's awesome. So, I guess now we just need glass all around this. Um, clean up a little bit after ourselves here. So basically, it's observers, and once the sugar cane grows up to the observers, then those activate, and uh, then the pistons shoot out, break the sugar cane, drop it into the hoppers, which will then drop into here. Let's see, do the hoppers actually work, though? So it should go to the chest? Maybe? Anyone? Anyone? Huh. Alright, well that's not working. I don't fully understand how hoppers work, to be honest. I think you need to, like, feed them into the chest somehow, but I thought just placing them would work, so... Not fully sure on that one, to be honest. But it is kind of cool to have an automatic sugar farm. Um, cost a lot of... A lot of iron and a lot of redstone, so, uh... Let's hope it was worth it. Didn't end up having to use these slime balls. I brought them just in case. Um, also had to use a little bit of nether quartz. I didn't know you made observers with nether quartz, but that's kind of cool. That was neat. All right, cool. That was sort of my first step into redstone for a long time. I used to be really into contraptions, but I totally forget how to do them all now. What was I about to do? Oh, glass, yeah. I wanted to make, a, make some glass here. You know, we should just smelt a whole bunch of glass anyway. We're going to need it at some point if we want to do cool glass work and stuff. Um, I am pretty excited about this, though. Uh, I'm going to go figure out what's wrong with those hoppers. Okay, I finally got this to work here. Um, took a little, little figuring out. I'm kind of a noob at this. Um, so it turns out... Oh my god, these chickens are so annoying. Might need to start slaughtering them. Um, you have to, like, shift-click on to... Uh, onto chests and stuff to get the hoppers to work. So if we pop it in there, it should eventually end up in here. Cool. So that does work now, uh, which is very nice. So took a little figuring, but we got there. What I'd love to do is somehow do a, maybe a dispenser on the side and have it like auto, huh, maybe down here. And this is my own little idea. Cause can't you dispense bone meal? So if we dispense bone meal right here, then um, we could, auto grow it kinda and get it to have a faster output when we want it to that could be kinda cool alright it's time to slaughter some of these chickens I'm sorry guys but uh you are unbelievably 
annoying. So, uh... <laughs> we're downsizing you. So that we don't have to hear this incessant clucking 24-7. Wow, that's a lot of chickens. It's a lot of dead chickens. Uh, it's already quieting down. Uh, that's so much nicer. Oh, my ears don't hurt. Hey, what are they doing in Flipper's pool over here? Y'all get out of there. Poor Flipper. Oh, he's enjoying it. He's having bath time with him. Alright, you guys can stay. Flipper approves. You're fine, then. Okay. Kill that dude real quick. Okay! So! Excellent, excellent, excellent. Is this all... It's not quite done, but that's okay. Um, what we can do is place our chicken in there, and then also some of these eggs, in case we ever need them. I'm not sure what you really use eggs for, but, oh well. I guess we'll figure it out at some point. Um, oh wow, we could make so many arrows. Sweet. We actually already have so many arrows, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, well, let's make all this sugar cane into pit bear, and then books. And then from books, we need more wood. Oh, uh, do we? No, we have tons of wood. There we go. Uh, bruh. All that, and we can make... Well, we might be able to make one more bookshelf. Wait. Bruh, bookshelves are so expensive! We got three from all that stuff. Three! Why are bookshelves so expensive? Alright, you know what? I might need to go back to that adventuring idea and, um, go find them from a village, because they have, like, tons of bookshelves if you just find them in the right place. There's a couple. We can't get, like, any levels from that. We need 30 plus, you know? That's what we need right now. I am worried about adventuring, though, because we got all this XP. I don't want to lose it all. Though we do have the XP farm now, so, I mean, it's not the end of the world if we lose it, but... That'd be a serious bummer to lose 42 levels. Alright, but... Say lovey. That's life. Um, we're gonna do it, man. Let's freshen up our armor that needs freshening. So we need uh, pants. We need... Iron chest plate. We need a helmet. Uh, Alright, Batman is all kitted out now. That sword should last us through this adventure. Let's dump all the crud we don't need at the moment, because, uh, we're heading out, bros. And I don't want to be bogged down by any crud here. Yeah. I also don't want to lose some of this stuff in case we do die. That'd be a bummer. Um, I really don't need two buckets, don't need that, don't need that. Should probably keep that. Redstone, can ditch that. Okay. Oh, we should probably make a boat. I think boating around is probably the fastest method of uh, getting places, so let's do that. All right. Oh, actually, we should... You know what? While we're, we're just going to commit to uh, finishing this up. You know what? We, we got to finish what we started. Uh, I'm still thinking about maybe doing that... Uh, dispenser thing, but, uh, we'll do that when we get back from our adventure. But, uh, for now, we'll just do this. And then we'll leave the back open for now. Sick! Okay! Well, that thing should, uh, run whenever we need it to, and we'll, we'll get sugarcane from that. Just sort of as we're chilling around here, which is sick. That's so good. I'm so happy about that, honestly. Yeah, we'll put glass with the stone. Why not? Okay, Francis. I'll see you later. Flipper, you're not coming on this adventure. Sorry, bud. This is an adventure for uh, 
One man. One man adventure. Alright. I'll be back once I've found a village or something. Guys! There are dogs here! And I think meat works. D does meat work on dogs? No, it doesn't. Ah, I think it's only bones. Oh, well, that, we got a little love heart there, but no, I think we need, um, I think we need bones to finish off the job. Dang it! We have so many bones at our house. I should have brought it for this adventure. That's so sad. Yeah, I have none in my inventory. Look at all the dogs. We could have gotten a dog army. That was one of my favorite common suggestions was to get a dog army in this playthrough. Um, I mean, there's still time. We're still probably going to try and do it, but this would have been such a good opportunity with all the dogs here. Um, yeah, no village yet. I've traveled pretty far. Um, just haven't spotted one. We're going in a new direction here, so hopefully we do find something pretty soon. I don't want to get stuck out here too long during the night, but I mean, sun's going down. I have been killing cows and stuff on the way, so we got a little bit of leather just in case this doesn't pan out and we find no bookshelves. We still got some leather out of it, so we can make some, but I don't know. Uh, what's this over here? Just some weirdly placed little blocks. Interesting. Okay, um... Wait, is that a village house over there? I think I see lights. Oh, <gasps> ooh, yes! Okay, thank goodness. And that way we don't have to spend the night out here, too. Let's go! Woo! Okay. Also gotta be kind of careful here, because I'm somewhat worried about, uh mobs spawning and killing us oh that's definitely lights over there whoo oh baby yeah the creepers are out in force now uh, that's no good all this for a couple of books nope enderman i really don't want to mess with you you are just far too powerful of an enemy is this another ravine of course it is there's a million ravines on this map <laughs> let's see what we got here oh no oh that's no that's no village. Oh, jeez. All right. Oh, jeez. Okay. Why won't you let me... What the heck? Oh, there we go. We're gonna make a tiny little house for the night. Hello. And I'm gonna go AFK and let the night pass, because I don't want to sleep here. And then we might have to go fight those uh, bandits. I got bored, but look at all those cows around there, man. Ah, oh, should have known they were colluding with the enemy. That's why they wouldn't give me their leather. Yeah, there's so many mobs around here. Well, I think we should attack that thing, but truthfully, I think uh, doing it at night would be such a mistake. Is that a spider jockey? Hey, are you a spider jockey? Oh, it is! That's so cool. I love those. That's pretty sick. We should probably be saving our sword, actually, because it's, uh, it's kind of on its last legs here. But, um, come back here, you heifer. There we go. I do want, uh, all this leather. Give me your leather. Please. We should have a cow farm, honestly. would be pretty good. If we could have, like, a farm of every kind, that would be kind of sick. Uh-oh, this guy spotted me. Hmm. Hello. Goodbye. It's okay. If our sword breaks, we still got this. Yep. Yep, get punked on. Woo! Egg in the face. Oh, there's a bit of lag there. Killed him. Oh, Creeper! Oh man. Yeah, let's go back to our little house. <laughs> Might be the cruddiest house ever. Glad I replenished our armor before this. I'm doing a lot of combat, man. I just wanted a village! Is that too much to ask? I'll actually take all this dirt. Might need the building material. Oh no! Oh! 
Oh, he didn't blow up my diamond pickaxe. That would have been so bad, dude. It would have been pretty funny, too, actually. <laughs> I'd take it out for a second, and it gets blown up. That'd be funny. Oh, man. Actually, you know what? While we're just kind of chilling here, waiting for day, why don't we uh, make a furnace and cook up some of this meat we got? That'd be pretty good. So we need eight, I think. Yeah, we got plenty. Cool. Okay, uh, I need a crafting bench too. Boop. That furnace. Excelente. Uh, put a couple of coal in there. Get that raw beef in there. We have a lot of raw beef. You think we could maybe like snipe a couple of these guys? Ah! <laughs> Go away! Ow! Who did that? Skeleton? Yeah. Oh, maybe it was you. Stop it! All right. Give me that beef. Where's the beef? It's almost daytime here. Ooh, yeah, fight each other. Nice. Cool. <laughs> Who's gonna win? I bet he wins. No, he didn't. Nice one, skeleton. Very nice. Creeper. Oh man. That's all I can think about when I see a creeper now. <laughs> he blew up part of my house, dude. The heck, bruh? Alright. Let's do this thing. We should probably just make a mad dash for the building. All right, get myself my dirt ready. Go! Actually, wait, eat something. Now go! Huh, huh, huh! Block off the entrance, excellent. Okay. Torch it up a little bit, so it's not totally dark. Bottle of O oh, enchanting. Crossbow, couple arrows, some random stuff. Well, this place sucks. Uh, is a crossbow any good anyway? You know, I came all this way. I'm taking this. <laughs> taking the chest. What's up, dudes? Oh, I kind of wanted that. <laughs> Wait, there's a bunch of them. Put these banners all over the place in our base you just gotta go get, go get him down there yeah we'll do that why not oh look there's like a cage over there huh we have to go investigate what that is overall kind of kind of underwhelming Uh-oh. That's a lot of baddies. Oh, jeez. You know what? Ah! That's terrifying. Oh! They're all shooting each other! Punked on, kids. <sighs> okay. No, don't eat that. Eat this. Oh, jeez. Oh. <sighs> if that had hit, we would have been dead. 
Okay. <laughs> well, that was something. What, a, what an interesting place those lads have there. Very weird. You follow me? What? How do you even use that thing? Wait, so you... Cock it back. Weird. Can you just leave it cocked in your inventory? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Alright. Oh, we got another one. Ominous Banner. That's pretty cool. I think that's enough meat for now. Give it back. Give it to me. Okay. I'm gonna keep on exploring. I don't think there's anything in that cage. I don't really want to go back there. Sorry about the phone ringing in the background, by the way. Alright, I'll be back. Yeah, go find a village. Oh my god, guys. Beyond that hill, there's a forest fire going on because of this lava stream. That's insane. And there's a cave there. Wow, that's kind of cool. I've never seen, like, a naturally occurring forest fire in Minecraft. Uh, but it's happening. It is happening. <laughs> save the trees. I'm not going to stop and save them, but someone should. Someone should. I don't know what it is about this waterfall, but I think it looks so sick how it's spread out so much. Man, if we were anywhere near our base, I would totally build a little house here, but... We're so far away, I'd never use it. It'd just be a waste of materials, but it looks so cool. I really like it. I really dig that. That's cool. Maybe we could replicate it somehow near our house. Ugh, guys, it's nighttime and raining. But finally, we found a village. Oh my god, I've been traveling for so long. It looks like a pretty big one, too, so that's really good. I don't want to have to find another one. Please just have a librarian here. Please. <laughs> also, an iron golem would be nice so he could protect us. Nope, you're nothing. Uh, I don't... Uh, should we sleep? Uh, I don't want to set my spawn here. I guess we will. Whatever. The compass should still point to our spawn, like our actual spawn point, and it is. That's good. Alright. Um, I'm gonna start pilfering all the stuff here and you know, taking <laughs> taking the loot. Yeah, it's payment for protection, of course. Um, and I'll be back if I find a librarian. Yo, dudes. First of all, cool waterfall. What's up with all these cool waterfalls? And they're all so far away from our house. But secondly, there's a cat here and I have three raw salmon with its name on it. So let's see, I think we we approach the cat like this. Like you have to kind of slowly go up to the cat. Oh, it's, it's little meows are so cute. And then you just toss it. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. And it has to be raw salmon, I think. Cat. Come here. Dude. Oh, that's so cute. No! Okay, come here. Bruh. No! Oh, it did two, but it didn't like us. We got one more shot at this. No, oh, dang it. Come here, dude. Come here! Why are you kind of being a jerk here, cat? Come here, eat my fish. Yes! We got a cat! Oh, that's so sick. Let's name him Keith. Keith the cat. Come on, Keith. All right. Or wait, should it be Catwoman since we're Batman? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like Keith. Oh, there's a second cat here, Tabby. But uh, we don't have any more fish, so sorry. Keith is our friend. You are not. And Keith will scare away creepers, I believe, right? So that's kind of sick. All right. All right. All right. Very cool. 
What's up, dude? No, nothing? Okay. Let's see. Do you guys have any librarians? We got that. Bone saw. Um, yeah, there was a chest in here, which I was somewhat looting, which is kind of nice. Um, I don't really want any of this stuff, but we could just kind of ditch some of our stuff into this chest so we don't have to carry it around and have it. Um, hmm, I don't know what to get rid of, though. I guess two cobblestone, that, that. No, we kind of want a crafting bench. That's good enough for now. Oh, we have another chest, so we could just take the chest. No, I don't want the chest. Stop hoarding, Daily. Stop hoarding. They have two bells here. That's unique. Give me your wheat. Because if you got a farmer, I want to sell your wheat back to him. That's the game plan here. All right, I guess we got to go up here. Please be a librarian. Blacksmith. Dang it, with a cruddy leather tunic. What's this? Smooth stone. No thanks. Well, what about you guys? Two blacksmiths, wow. Um, Y'all are selling garbage. That's fun. Got many customers for your garbage there? This village sucks! Why haven't we found a single village with a flippin' or librarian? Huh? <sighs> Is there another house up there, perhaps? They don't even have a farmer, man. This village is actually kind of terrible. Let's see. There was more, like, village till dirt up here. So it's entirely possible they got another mad lad hiding up here. Come on, please have a librarian. It still goes on over here. Ooh, does it go to the other side of the mountain? That'd be kind of cool. No, it doesn't. Let's go up, I guess. See what's up here. You got anything for me? Here we go. Well, they got some potatoes. Some apples. Might as well take those. Oh, it keeps going up. Wait. There's more dirt up here that's been paved. Is there another house all the way up here? Villagers are crazy, man. They're in the clouds up here. Hot dang, bro. Let's just go to the top anyway. I don't think there's a house, but it's kind of cool. I dig it big time. Let's uh set our render distance all the way to 32. See if there's uh, another village we could just sort of spot from up here in our vicinity. See, it's pretty mountainous over here. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna chill up here and try and spot something. All right, guys, all the chunks have loaded up. Uh, I don't really see much. Um, I mean, it's very mountainous around here, so you can't see too far. But yeah. I'd say probably our safest bet is to go this way. It looks kind of promising over that way. That's where we were kind of heading before anyway. There's the village. It's very pretty here. I really like that region over there, so I just kind of want to check it out in general, but... Yeah. I almost wish this was nearer to our spawn so we could have chilled here. And uh, built a house here, but... Yeah, you know, we actually got a pretty good thing going on in our spawn, so I'm not going to complain. What's going on here, boys? Composter? Let me compost some stuff. I just learned how these work. Here, so you, like, take this, and then you fill it up. And you might get a bone meal after <laughs> filling it up. It sounds like a horrible thing. Like, it's not worth the time, but I don't know. It's a thing, I guess. All right, hopefully Keith follows us. I can hear him meowing. Come on, Keith. Let's let's move out. I'm going to drop my render <laughs> distance back down to 20. I think that's what it was at before. Seems like a good one. I also found a bunch of bones from skeletons, so if we find a dog, we'll also get a dog. Um, there's Keith. I can see him prowling around in the grass. Oh, he's a good boy. Good boy, Keith. Keith the cat. Okay, well, I'll be back if I find something else. 
All right, my dudes, I have traveled a very long time this way. Um, I think it's time we, we cut back over to the left over here and then kind of doubled back around um, and, and started heading back this way. Uh, that way we'll, we'll cover a little bit more ground, have maybe a chance of finding a, a village, but uh, haven't had much luck. Have not had much luck. So I think in total we've found four villages on this world and I've covered a lot of ground so that's not great this world is very good in terms of some things and those first three villages we found were very close to our spawn but none of them were really like all that great um, so I'm kind of disappointed that we weren't able to find another one even though I've been traveling for like a good bit of time here but it was kind of worth it we got some basic materials that we need we also got 22 leather so we'll be able to make a few more bookshelves I don't know, bookshelves are, like, weirdly expensive, man. Oh, God, I hope that ender dude didn't see me. I really don't want to fight him. Ender uh, men are so, so powerful. <laughs> uh, pretty much every mob death in this series so far has been to an enderman. I've had a few fights with them on screen and off screen, and almost every one of them I've lost. Uh, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad um okay so yeah we're gonna cut back this way and try and find something else i mean it is daytime now so that's a bit nicer in the night you get kind of demoralized when you don't find a village because you gotta also spend a lot of time you know fighting mobs and stuff like that but during the day it's not as bad obviously so yeah we'll cut back this way see if we can find something and uh oh a village bruh Oh, it's huge, too. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord Gonk. Oh. Huh. Thank goodness, man. I was really getting annoyed there that we weren't finding, like, anything. Two villages in... I've been exploring for, like, a solid 45 minutes, probably. Um, but this one's big. It looks promising. God, I hope there's something in here. Okay, so wow, actually getting closer to it, it is really, really big. Holy cow, this is a big village. Is it like two villages in one? There's a lot of buildings here. Maybe we've just been finding really small villages, so that's like why I'm sort of shocked by this is, you know, I'm used to finding small ones. All right, none of these dudes want to trade. Oh, I'll steal this thing. We do need... Uh, grindstone and stuff lava oh new armor for us don't mind if I do although ours wasn't even looking that bad but I mean I'll take it here we'll leave this in here in case we ever stumble upon this village again and decide we want it I'll also take that obsidian any day of the week I'll take that obsidian um, don't really want those iron pickaxes but uh, well, yeah it's fine cool all right, so off to a pretty good start here. Ooh, a couple of emeralds, a couple of apples, a couple of potatoes. All right, I do want these emeralds. Um, we'll ditch the rotten flesh. My inventory is kind of a gross mess right now. Don't judge me. All right, come on. Have a library. Just have a library, guys. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. That's all I've ever wanted. It's just a library. I will take your wheat, though. That's pretty solid. Then, nice. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. So we will not go hungry on this adventure. There was a little while there where I was going kind of broke, but we're good now. Uh, that's a cartographer. Oh, the compass. I'll take it. Why not? Um, yeah, did you have any deals I really cared about? Not really. Your deals suck. Well, actually, they would be good if the, our sugarcane farm were fully operational at the moment, but it's not. Because he was trading paper. Stone cutter. Alright, we've explored about half the village. We've got this second half to go. Ooh, a farmer. He could have some deals for us. Farmers are usually pretty, pretty decent. You can usually kind of sell back their stuff to them. Oh, potatoes. Or, sorry, carrots, not potatoes, but 
Sadly, I don't really have any uh, carrots, but that was a pretty good deal. It's fine. We're like pretty much emerald rich at this point, so it doesn't matter too much to me if we uh, get more right now, especially because I don't really have anything I want to buy. Take care of these cows real quick and get their leather. Um, it's like, you know, we don't have a person to use the emeralds on at the moment because no one's selling us good stuff. But eventually we will, and then we'll have tons of emeralds to use. Or we could use them to build blocks, too, which is kind of fun, because I think emeralds actually look really cool, too. So, that's fine. Okay, a couple more uh, leather there. So, even if this village does not supply us with it, we'll have a little bit more. I don't know, man. I just really wanted to find a village, because I think the libraries have, like, 20 bookshelves in them? They have a lot. Like, I think both walls are usually covered by the books bookshelves. Is that right? So, I mean, if we were to find one, that'd be so good. But we just are not having that luck. Alright, we gotta go further this way. Alright, ooh, another farmer. If he's trading uh, potatoes, that'd be really good. Oh, he is. We actually didn't have that many potatoes. I thought we had more. That's okay. Um, that's actually a pretty good bread deal. I, I'll take that bread. Why not? Um, we didn't really need bread, but like, it was a good deal, and I didn't exactly want to be carrying around all those emeralds. There's more potatoes. We might be able to do a second trade with him. More wheat. When you get the villager who trades wheat, that's when you know you're golden because they always have these hay bales lying around. You can just sell their hay bales back to them and you get just so much profit. One thing I've kind of noticed actually is that I haven't stumbled upon a desert in a really long time. Um, and deserts... Oh my god, this dude's rich right here. Holy cow. Who lives here? Dang, son, he cleaned up. Um, deserts are where you really want to be... Uh, looking for villages and stuff because they usually have so many. Um, oh, you don't have quite enough. Dang it. Huh. You know what? I don't care. You keep your emeralds, man. You keep them. I'm not going to go searching for potatoes. <laughs> Alright, so another bust in terms of that. There's Keith. Hey, Keith. Um, that's okay. That's alright. We'll, uh, we'll start heading back this way. And uh, we'll kill cows along the way. If we do find another structure, that'd be great. Oh, there we go. A little lag there. Um, if we don't, that's okay too. We made out pretty good in terms of what we did find, even if it wasn't what we were looking for. Um, but hey, maybe we'll find another one. But what I was saying before, just to finish my thought, because I don't know, I, I get really bad at just rambling sometimes and going thought to thought, is that uh, if you find deserts, they are so open and they usually only have like one or two large mountains to them so you can just spot the villages almost immediately or the pyramids and whatever you're looking for um so deserts are really my favorite place to go village hunting because you can find them just like that like they're so easy especially if you get a huge desert there can be like two or three villages in it um so that's kind of sick but like these dense forests are annoying plains are pretty good um for finding villages too, but plains tend to be very small in terms of Minecraft. Like, they're not large areas, so they, they tend to be not nearly as good as deserts are, but, um, like, yeah, deserts are just sick, bro. But I don't know why, but there's, like, there's one right next to where we're living at our spawn, and then beyond that, we haven't really found one. It's kind of shocking. Are there villages in swamps, by the way? Are there villages in just every biome now? I feel like they might only be in forest, desert, and, um, uh, woodland biomes, like, uh, you know, ice, snow biomes. But, maybe they are. Oh, and they're also in, um, Saharas. No, not, are they called Saharas? I can't remember. Um... But, yeah, savannas, I think, right? Not Sahara's. Sahara is a desert. Oh, well, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. 
I don't know where villages are always located, but they might be in swamps. Who knows? All right. Either way, if I find something on our way home, I'll let you know. Ooh, baby. Peeking through the trees there. Another village. Let's flip in a go, boys. I really hope this isn't a village we've already seen. Wow, got a bit of a lag spike here. Big lag spike. I wonder if there's like a, maybe a big mine below us or something like that, and that's what's causing that lag spike. Not 100% sure. Um, I'm worried this might be the village that we found previously next to the ravine, but I feel like we would have looted those hay bales, so maybe it's not. And that'd be pretty nice if it wasn't. I don't think it is. Sick. All right, we still got hope. We might find another librarian. I'm gonna go pillage this village. Bruh, this is a librarian. Oh, and he's selling bookshelves? Dude, that's kind of sick. Um, but I would like to find your homestead librarian because I bet you've just got a bunch of bookshelves laying around in there. And I would like to have them. Thank you. If I can find it. He has to have a library, right? He's a librarian, right? That's how it works. It's the rules of nature, I think. We already have a broom stand, so I'm not going to steal that one. Um, more potato things. Okay. Where's the library? Please don't tell me he doesn't have a library. I He has to have one, right? It's, it's got to be one of these last buildings over here. Really? No? Okay. Oh, you have 35 apples? That That's kind of extreme. Yes! Library! And he's only got like four bookshelves? Oh my god. <laughs> the one library we find has got like no bookshelves. I also forgot they don't actually... You need silk touch to get the bookshelves themselves. You have to... Ah! At least we got books, man. My disappointment is very great. But you know what? We found a place. At the very least, we can say that. we It wasn't a complete, awful, horrible mishap here. We did find this place. If only we had a few more emeralds to uh, trade to that guy. But sadly, we don't. Get rid of that furnace. That's okay. You know, We'll collect our wheat. And then I'm going to start heading back uh, to our house. I'm probably going to sleep in one of their beds, too, just so it's daytime when we head out. Hey, guys. Uh, this is actually just kind of cool, but... Check it out. We found uh, iceberg. That's pretty neat. I dig it. That's uh, that's pretty dope, man. I haven't really seen one of those uh, in this playthrough yet. I don't think. So um, I think what we should do is probably just uh, boat the rest of the way, if we can. I mean, if we're able to, that'd be pretty sick. So bing bong. Let's get this going. Take our crafting table too. Okay, so we need to craft another. And uh, I don't know, I'll keep my eyes to the ground here. And uh, if we can find another pirate ship, that would be pretty cool. Oh my god, there's one right there. Ha! Yes, oh, and a polar bear. What's up, dude? It's behind that iceberg. Okay. Pirate ship! Yes! Okay, this is actually kind of exciting. All right, this ended up being a pretty fruitful uh, adventure, even though it took a really long time. Not bad, not bad, homie. Let's see what's going on in here. Let me in it. What's happening? Oh, there we go. Ah! My computer messed up right there. I think we've been moving around so much that it keeps having to load chunks and stuff like that, and it's not too happy. Oh, here's a door we can just chill in. Oh, very nice. Okay. Now move forward. Uh, potatoes. TNT I'll take. Getting that, I guess. Paper. Man, this pirate ship kind of sucks. Maybe there's another compartment. I kind of forget where they're located. Down here? No. I think actually that might be the only chest because it's only like half a ship here. Um, I'll ditch that for that. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, so I think the other chest, if there were one, would be over here. 
And then another one right there, but I think that's the only chest because it's half a ship. Dang. All right, that's kind of sad, but you know what? That's okay. It's okay. We didn't get a treasure map, which is, of course, what we were looking for, but we did get some TNT. Yeah, baby. And that is always worth the adventure. Oh, my God. Do you see what's on the horizon here? Village. Yes. If only we had, like, only gone this way when we started this adventure, we would have found all these villages, like, instantly. We wouldn't have to have been walking around for so long. But, but now they're all cropping up on the way home, so... Hey, at least we're getting them at some point here, and that's that's kind of nice. I'm, I'm okay with that. All right. I wish there was more water around where we live. It's a lot of land, which is good in some regards, but um, having a lot of water would be nice, too, because then we could just boat everywhere, and that's way faster. I like, I like island regions a lot in Minecraft. That's a pretty hefty village. Okay. I'll take another one of these. Why not? I don't exactly know what they do, but... Probably something. Ah, no diamonds. Sometimes on the very rare opportunity, you'll find diamonds in those, but not in that one. Not today. What's up? What are you doing? 26 potato or 15 beetroot? I'm afraid I don't have either of those, champ. But uh, if you ever want wheat, man, if you ever want wheat. It's too bad we haven't found a wheat one. Maybe this guy will have it. Yes! Oh, he did. Okay. Well, then. Let's do this, man. Let's flip and do it. Make this wheat trade happen. I will gladly trade for you. Oh, and pumpkins, too. You want pumpkins, bro? I'll give you pumpkins. Glad gladly give you pumpkins. Um. Yeah, let's keep going until he's fed up. Probably any minute now. No, not not quite. Okay. You want more, bro? You want more? Heck yeah, boy! You you really like wheat. Okay. Let's see. Do I have anything more? Let's see. That's it. That's all he'll do. That's okay though, cause we got 30 emeralds from him. Wow. Okay, bro. You really like wheat, don't you? You really do, and there you got a whole bunch of hay bales right here. So, uh, I'm kind of confused, but that's fine. You do, you champ, and I will gladly trade with you. Um, this is a really cool village house. I've never seen one built like this. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. Didn't have anything in it, but it was cool. It was indeed cool. All right, uh, let's start exploring here. Uh, I'm known as the village robber these days. Lots of potatoes. Man, we have 45 apples. It's kind of nutty. That's crazy. Never had that many apples, I don't think. <gasps> oh, man. Village raiding really, really pays off, honestly. Like, you get so many just basic things that you kind of need. You don't get anything super rare. Well, you can get diamonds sometimes, but, like, you, know, you just get the basic necessities that, like, if you didn't do this, it would take you ages to get, like, chopping down trees to get apples and, like, farming a bunch to get wheat and stuff like that. But, you know, just village raiding is kind of fun to find it in the wild. I like that. I, I just think it's an entertaining thing to do. So I'll finish up here. Yo, there's, like, this weird little water temple thing right here. What is this thing? Kind of cool. But it does have a block here so we can breathe if we stand on that. Yeah, it just replenishes your health. Huh. I think if you like... Uh oh, Trident Boy. These guys are kind of dangerous. I'd rather fight him closer to the surface. What? Uh-oh. Nope. Bail, bail, bail! Okay. Nope. Go, go, go. Build a hole. Build a hole. Build a hole. Build a hole. Go, 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 go. Okay. Um, give me that, please. Okay. Oh, that was terrifying. Oh my god, he almost killed us. Okay. Um, 
I think if you dig around the water temple, you have a chance of finding stuff. I don't know if I'll do that. I might just bail after we chill here for a minute and regain health. Hey guys, I actually didn't realize just how close we were to our base. That's where we were getting in trouble, right over there. Um, oh, this guy's still trying to hit us with his trident. Um, so there's a village like right next to over there. There are four villages really close to us, um, and I really had no clue about any of them. So good to know, but we're back at our base here now. Thank goodness we almost died right there. Um, and I would have never known that we were literally right next to our base. So it's a good thing we didn't because that would have been so sad to lose our stuff right there and probably not realize and not know it. Um, has our sugarcane farm been going? Probably not because we haven't been around here yet. I mean, we haven't been here to actually have it work, so that's fine. I mean, it's fine. We weren't here. Um, but we have come back rather triumphantly, I would say. What's up, Francis? Yeah, where's Keith? <gasps> Did I accidentally leave Keith somewhere? Oh, no! Oh, I hope Keith teleports at some point. I, I might have accidentally had him sit somewhere, and now he's gone. Shoot. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, Keith. Oh, I hope Keith's okay. Oh, that's really sad. Oh, no, we lost our friend already. Dang, dude. That's really depressing. Okay, well, RIP to Keith if he's gone forever. Let's hope he isn't. Let's hope, man. That's all we can do is hope. All right, but it's not all a loss. We lost a friend on the way, but we've got lots of things. We got crossbows. We got junk. <laughs> got a grindstone, man. Where should we put the grindstone? That's a terrible spot. I hate that spot. Um, right there, I guess? Okay, sure. Um, got some banners. Got some obsidian, too, which is kind of fun. Boop! Um, that way we don't have to mine it. Uh, okay, let's take our, our leather here. And then... Uh, Oh yeah, we got TNT too. <laughs> so, I can actually just plop this in somewhere. We had another one somewhere on here. There it is. Two of them. Um, oh, we have 30 emeralds now. Two stacks of emeralds. <laughs> Dang, son. So what I wanted to do was go out there and craft a, a thingamajigger. Um... So we need this, we need some of this. I want to craft dispensers for bone meal. How do we do that? How do you make a dispenser? We need a bow. Does it have to be a fully new bow? Well, let's see. Oh, we need cobblestone too. Um... Let's see. Wait, where am I doing this? Yeah, it looks like you need a brand new bow, which is kind of obnoxious, but we can combine some of our bows here to make a new bow, I guess. <laughs> Definitely a little stupid, but whatever. There you go, there's one new bow. We got plenty of string too, so we can actually just make a bow. Um, God, I hate this. Sometimes this system annoys me. Give me those. Let's make some bows. We need four of them. Okay, now we can go here. Can we only make one? We have to make them one at a time, really? Oh, because bows don't stack, that's why. No, I made a dropper! Shoot. I made a second dropper. What am I doing? Make a dispenser. Why is it... It's popping up with droppers when I click dispenser. That's stupid. All right, well, we got a couple droppers now. <laughs> All right. So, 
if we go over here to our sugarcane farm and we do um, dispenser nope that's the wrong way I want it to face this way how do we go about doing this just gotta get in there no that's not working either okay there we go cool okay so then we need a way to power this All right. well, yeah I'm gonna figure this out off screen cuz I'm it's gonna be a lot of me being dumb so I'll be back okay I think I might have this working so I had to look up a tutorial on how to do a repeating dispenser but I think I got it there's really no point in having these repeaters here actually so let's just take those away that's just stupid oh you know what we might act mm, wait yeah we do need them okay I don't fully understand why cuz I'm a noob at redstone but we do need these redstone repeaters I think it just simplifies the circuit at the end so it directly connects with the dispenser at each one or something along those lines um, so here's what we do uh, first of all we gotta make a bunch of bone meal and then uh, make just a ton of it why not we have a skeleton farm so well, not yet but we're about to so we can afford to use a little bit of this bone juice okay it's got all the bone juice in there and now uh, that might be a little fast do we get anything no <laughs> Did we just shred through a bunch of bone juice? No, it's not. Maybe we need to get that a little bit delayed. Why is the middle one and the far right one not firing? And why isn't that... Hmm. I'm... I am Confucius. Now it's not working at all. You know what? I think we need... these pistons to not be firing ha huh. yeah uh true oh sorry um i'm super confused uh You know what? I think I'm going to do this off screen because I am confused and I need to figure it out. So, uh, I'll be back next episode because this has been a long one. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Comment and subscribe if you did. I think I might do that mob spawner, finish this up, and do some mining between episodes just to get some stuff done off screen. But, uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.